G'day Bifrosters. This is a interesting thing. This is the beginning of a big series about noise because noise is so so important for everything from environment layout to randomization to visual effects to scattering and since Bifrost is low level and my stuff is aimed at beginners to intermediates I thought I would uh, embark on a bit of a longer project where I try and explain noise to people. What you're seeing here is a simplex noise on a bunch of cubes that are generated by a full loop and there is a time node plugged into the phase which is moving everything along. So to give you an example of how we can change that let's reverse the direction. So what you're seeing here is what's called a 1D noise it's really just controlling the height of the cubes or the y dimension of the cubes from negative 10 to 10 which we can change as well. But what I thought I would do is show you how this can apply to simplex noise, random noise, sine curves, everything. And what it will allow you to do and what will end, what the end goal of this entire series is, building our own mountain node or a bifrost version of a mountain node, which is a Houdini node that allows you to control several different kinds of noise. This is the beginning of the project. In this project, you can expect things like how to add frequency, amplitude and phase to a simplex noise, which is what we're looking at now. Uh, what a curl noise is and how it works. Should we use fields? Can we use fields? I really just want to explore noise in the in the pursuit of getting a really good master noise node in Bifrost that works like a mountain that we can use for uh, colors, we can use for positions, we can use for anything we want to add noise to because noise is so important. And yes, I realize the scattering nodes are in there. We can use those as well. I'm going to try and incorporate that. But considering this is the introduction, I think I've probably already spoken for too long. Let's move on to building our own noise. 